Alright, so this is Chips Challenge. It's a game that I both love and loathe. It has some fantastic levels and some absolutely awful levels um, and a lot of mazes. And there's one thing I love, it's mazes. No, I don't love mazes. Yowzer, first try. Yowzer in your trousers. But yeah, I got this map to my Xbox 360 controller. Mm, such a modern controller. <laughs> yeah, was the first try. Oh, this, um, admittedly, the sound effects can be a little bit annoying. Obviously, it won't be as bad for you since I'll be like muting. Well, not muting, but make them a lot quieter. Probably minus 22 decibels is like the weird default on Adobe Premiere. Oh, yeah, some, you don't actually technically have to get all the chips in the level in some of them. It's just a case of reaching the mountain you need to get. So, we would need four more. And four of those are inaccessible. Give me those chips. I'm hungry. Lesson 8. I forgot what lesson 8 is. Oh, evil chompy boys. Yeah, just false teeth. Oh, what a weird, beautiful enemy. Oh, God, they're in the middle, aren't they? But yeah, there's enemies in this game, and some of them are really mean. Especially the ones that want to eat you. Anyone that wants to eat, anyone that wants to eat you is pretty mean. But yeah, also, we're running on a bit of a... This game's on a grid, and it can be a little bit disorientating at points, I find. I think that's more due to the fact that I'm just not used to playing games like this. It's a very old school way of doing games. Maybe just limitations, to be honest. You can put like a smooth scrolling effect on it, but it just doesn't look very nice in my opinion. I've had to stick to like the block chunk method. Yeah, there is background music, but it's a little bit annoying. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I kind of love it, but it's also very. It's a little bit abrasive. You don't want to be listening for too long. I think I've used it in like my couple of my Gmo videos, like the the horny not the horny one, the one with like the horns in. This is a very classic tune. But yeah, this video was an Atari Lynx game, and it would have been almost criminal for this to remain an Atari Lynx game. Oh, I know. Very simple. Pop that on there and just... Don't go in the jaws of life. They actually are jaws of death. They chomp you. And it's the first non-lessons level, and it's just a maze. Compared to most of them, this one's pretty inoffensive. Bummer. Oh, bummer. I love that. Did they actually go to the effort of like getting a microphone just to record that one voice line? Hunt. Oh no, we're gonna get chomped. Oh my god. Oh shit. I don't know if you have to get... Oh my god, have I got to get that many chips? Screw that. Right, South Pole. The clue here is to go south. North, east, south. There we go. It's cute. But yeah, it's getting like 650 chips. I can't be arsed right now. I've already, I've already beaten all the levels in this game legit, so I don't feel bad at skipping some. And obviously the direction you push them in determines where they're going to go, so we push this one up. And I fucked up. I generally do wonder what funky gems I'm going to put in this video. You know what, I'm going to put some key gen music, I haven't used key gen music in a while, I love it. It's a bit of a moral sort of grey area, because obviously I'm not technically asking permission to use it, but it's associated with illegal shit, so I don't think they want to be associated with it, to be honest. But yeah, there is a sequel to this, and I haven't played it yet. Like, I'm assuming it's a, a lot better. I think it introduces a lot more elements, but from what I've seen from the wiki, it seems to introduce a an ridiculous amount of them as well. But whatever. Maybe I'll play it at some point. If I'm willing to put aside £2 for something that could be potentially 100 or so hours of entertainment. I don't think it's worth it. I would spend that money on a McDonald's that lasts me 10 minutes. So we've got the jaws of death there once again. Just pop that on there and we are done. Not chomping me. Not chomping this chip. Oh god, we've got a maze. Press escape to restart any level. No, but I will press the Y button on my D-pad. Okay, no chips this time. So this is just a one-way maze. It sucks. It's just a memory game, to be honest, and I just don't, I just don't like this sort of crap. It just annoys me. I have a feeling that's a dead end there. Can I do it? Come on, chip, you bastard. Oh, let's try down. I generally don't know the direction. I thought it was down here. Come on, tell me I've got it. Come on. Yes. But yeah. I mean, as far as the maze levels goes, that one's kind of inoffensive, but some of them are fucking awful. Nice day. It's not a nice day. 
Don't go away. But anytime those one of those walkie boys hits something to go in a random direction, and I feel like randomness in a puzzle game is not a good idea. But that's just me. Where's the rest of them? Here we go. I don't know where the exit is, honestly. Found an exit. And I'm a bit, 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 bit. Okay, this one. Bit, meh. This is a good puzzle level. I mean, I don't like the fact you have to do this big walk in the beginning. It's kind of annoying. But from what I've read, that actually is a way to cheat this level. Like, one of the blocks has some um, flippers underneath it, so you can just skip the puzzle entirely. And I don't know which one it is. Maybe it's this one. There we go. Let's just use the flippers instead, because I'm a cheaty boy. Come on, Chip. He's a chip off the old block. Let's kick him in the cock for cheating. First try, digger. I'm a gold digger. I would happy be a gold digger if they gave me a million pounds. Toss salad. Oh, that's dirty. No, I'm pretty sure tossing someone's salad is a, a sexual term. Yeah, they can't go on these grey bits. I think they're called dirt. Ants don't want to touch anything that's dirty. They don't put their hands down their pants. Like me. I'll skip this. I'll certainly skip this, but this is one of the worst levels in the game. You know, this is like a fucking trial by fire right here. I mean, it's bad enough Bummer. timing this crap, but trying to get like all of them is a nightmare. Stupid blobs make me look bad. I have one attempt before I give up, because this level is a nightmare. My voice is going crusty. Sneak. It's just like, it's just so long. One mistake like that and you're done. Alright. I'm guessing I do this. There we go. But these are my favourite puzzles in the game with the block pass block passing. Oh, I'm passing all up. Oh, nice and yellow and creamy. Who knew I was full of custard? A scavenger hunt. Oh, I was amazed. Can't be bothered. On the rocks. Too long. Can't be bothered. Cypher. This is just avoid the enemies and don't die. And there's a password in the floor. I don't think you can use them on this Steam version of Chips Challenge, so I won't bother. Yeah, the difficulty is all over the place. Like, I know you can't have it be like a... gradually going up over time, that's impossible. But yeah, sometimes you get an easy level like this and you get a ridiculously hard one, like the previous one. I think it was on the rocks. I wonder how many people caught onto the fact that this was a password. So I think... I don't even remember what the solution here is. Like, I think you just got to be like... Like, super, like, Bummer. quick. Bummer. No, I don't know if it's even possible to do this. I think like the Steam version, like the original version, like run a little differently. Oh, you fucking idiot. Hidden danger. I don't remember this one in the slightest. Um, yeah, I don't remember this level in at all. No. Leave me alone. Am I buggered now? I assume I'm buggered. Go away. I got my chips. I got my, my, my stuff to get in. I don't know where the exit is. Isn't it at the beginning? Oh no. I'm going to get chomped. No. 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 Not now. Get in there. Oh, I did it. I actually did a level for once. Scoundrel. Dirty rotten scoundrels. Yeah, you need to test like every damn block and my throat tickles. I'm having my testicles. <laughs> so fun. That's all I can do these days. Like, I used to mock Bob's Burgers quite a lot for all the, the puns, but I, I do it all the time now and I think I realise why. It's just easy, like, shit to say. You don't have to think about anything, you just say something and just quickly think of a rhyme. In, in time. I'm running out of time. This is not fine. Oh yeah, you can cheat on those platforms. Hooray! Chip hits the ice and decides to chill out. Then he runs into a fake wall and turns the f maze into a fresh of... What the hell is wrong with you, Chip? Rink. This level really does stink. Screw it. Slow-mo. Oh, this level's tedious. Spooks. You racist bastard. Amsterdam. Holy damn. Yeah, this is a decent level. You just gotta be really careful. Hmm. I prefer hamster dance. I'm putting my hand down my pants. That's pervy, I'm sorry. 
No, you just got to be very careful what order you do the blocks in. Um, I might just skip this one because it just takes a long time, but I do like this level. One of the levels I do like. Yeah, I'm just going to skip it, it takes too long. Victim! I'm a victim of this fucking game. Bummer. Oh, I can't be bothered. Chip mine. Oh, I didn't know I was playing Minecraft. Come on. There we go, that's all we got to do. Bummer. Oh, and I instantly died, fuck it. Steam! Give me steam. It's because it's better than you pay in origin. No. Oh. Fighters block. Oh dear. This is a really, really difficult um puzzle, this one. It just takes forever. Again, I have no I like this level, but it just takes so fucking long to do. So I'm just gonna skip it. Socialist action. Oh no, not communism, even though it said socialism. On this is another long puzzle level, and again I like this level, but it just takes so long to beat, I can't be bothered to do it. This is less of a let's play, more of a let's talk about. Spirals, fuck that level. Okay, this is one of those levels that I... the beginning is great. I actually talked about this level in my review, oh shit. I figured it out, I got... I like that puzzle, it's clever, I like it. Oh, I'm not done yet, fucking hell. Dickhead. Alright. I think this one's useless, let's get rid of it. If something's useless, you get rid of it. Just like old people. Bummer. Oh fuck it, who cares, I tried, I genuinely tried that time. Here she comes, my angel. My wandering superstar, I think that's the lyrics. Fucking Bob Odenkirk, brilliant. It's amazing to think he got, went from doing like Tim and Eric to fucking like... Breaking Bad and shit. Oh no, they can come in here as well, no they can't. Oh no, run away. Get the, get the, no, bad boys, bad boys, bad boys, what are you going to do when the walkers come for you? If you're not careful, come in you. This is what you need, a fucking rape joke. This game is just, is a fucking pain in the ass, but it's fucking worth playing. You, you don't need the heat show, but it could help on later on. Well, thank you. First of all, it's not called a heat shield. I know it's probably called that in like the Lynx version. No! Besides being an angel on earth, you fucking creep, Melinda is the top scorer in the challenge and the president of the Bitbusters. Good for you, Melinda. Drinking my fucking 7-up lemon lime cherry flavour free of sugars drink. One may may suck my dick. You know, there's probably some people out there that do legitimately eat their pubes. Block out. Cock out with your cock out with your cock. I literally cannot stop talking about cocks. I still got a red key, so we need to go above. Above and beyond. I don't know where the door is, so I'm hoping it's here. Bummer. Oh, for f Oh. Torture chamber, so no space either. Bummer. Bummer. I love being Bummer. tortured. It gets my rocks off. Bummer. This whole game is a fucking torture chamber. Blow up the bomb. What the hell? I can't time this. I did it, I timed it. Help me. Help me, I don't know what I'm doing. Bummer. Oh, screw it. Chiller. Oh, it was a bit too chill. Oh, I thought it was a... That is a cock there. Club sandwich, that's like um, chicken and stuff in it. Not chicken and stuffing, chicken and stuff in it. Oh, you dumbass, I figured it out. Right, and away we go. You go down there, get in the jaws of life and... There we go, I made it. This is why I walk into a bit of fire, isn't it? Clearly unblocked there, what's down here? Fuck this level, don't do a dirty trick like that. York House, I don't know what that's a reference to. Oh, I'm not getting that many chips. Ice Death, literally one of the worst levels in the game. Groove Euloids, Chip makes it almost to the end, he's so stoked. Underground, this fucking level should be underground. Pentagram, suck my ass Pentagram. <laughs> Stripes, fuck off. Fireflies, I think this might be like the penultimate level. Is a maze. That was totally ghost Chip. What? Gross. What cheating? 
Cheating is gross. Special. I think this is this the last level? No. And even this, this level isn't that bad. It still kicks you in the nuts at one point. You might remember they hide the exit under one of these blocks. And there's no way of finding out which one. Bummer. Fire. Just what we need. Great job, Chip. You finished the challenge. Now you can take Melinda to the Mental Marble to the Bitbusters EPROM. Score. That's my score from actually beating the game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 million, 856,540. As much as I like this game, it really is a pain in the ass, and this is meant to just be like a little overview of the game. This game is a pain in the ass, but I do like it. It, make, it makes you work towards liking it. Gluck, down the hatch. Just like the French say, down the hatch. Bummer.